Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, I'm Dwayne. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to some great beers that may be available across the state that you may not have heard of yet or maybe to a new brewery, or you just never know, maybe a new style product. Yeah. Like today, we're doing a canned product out of Southern Pines, and we've had the beer before, but never in cans, so we thought we'd share the cans now since we can get them all around. Right. So now, today, we're drinking the Man of Law IPA from Southern Pines Brewing Company, located at 565 Air Tool Drive, Sweet E in Southern Pines. Really cool location. Uh, Southern Pines Brewing Company first started as an idea in the spring of 2013. Micah, John, and Jason were at the midpoint of their military careers as Green Berets in the U.S. Army. The three had homebrewed some in the past and enjoyed the social atmosphere that homebrewing provided. After being reassigned to new jobs, they came up with the idea of starting their own business after hearing an investor talk about ownership of a local North Carolina craft brewery. The entre entrepreneurial spark was ignited, <laughs> and the three began to develop a plan to open a craft brewery on their own. Okay? Southern Pines brewed their first batch in the 15 barrel brew house in the tap room in 2014. So it's not really a short time. Thinking and actually doing is really, really quick. Beyond their production batches of beer that Southern Pines distributes, it is excited to continually brew new artisanal batches of beer on a small two and a half barrel pilot system. So that's really cool because you can go nuts with that without losing all that. You know, if you do a bad batch, two and a half barrels is gone. It's still a lot compared to what we brew, but in a big scheme, it's good. So the Mana Law is a citrusy hop forward IPA and the second year round flagship for the Sun Southern Pines Brewing Company. But it's SPBC, like I know what that meant. <laughs> it's clear amber appearance and creamy head, which is right, his yeah, is really a little bit more than mine, more. present a well-balanced IPA. The aroma contains strong orange and pineapple notes with a slight hint of resinous character. The initial citrusy hop flavor is contrasted with the caramel sweetness of the malt, oh, which is a really cool, I love when I mix that. The bitterness is pleasantly rounded and free from its stringency due to the bittering hops being first wort additions. The beer has a clean finish, and at 6.4%, the Mana Law holds true to its name of being a well-rounded IPA that highlights balance over extremes. And I haven't studied these cans. This, okay. is a, this is a great can. It talks about, gives us a little description of like oh. you just read. Okay. Then it talks about the flavors, the flavor profile. Okay. It says the aroma should be pineapple, candied orange, Oh yeah. And resin. Mm -hmm. Appearance, pale amber, lacing head, flavor, rounded bitterness, caramel sweetness. Everything you just said, yep. but it's right here on the can. Okay. Then it says, try this beer with. Oh, I see. It now does that, food pairings right I, on the can. I love that. It says food, Eastern North Carolina barbecue ribs. What? Okay. Cheese, a two-year English cheddar, it says. Okay. Or dessert, a flourless chocolate cake. So if I had, what if I had a three-year cheddar? <laughs> right. Was but that not going to go? Too, but it's just amazing. <laughs> that's great. They've that's... taken all the, the uh, Information you need to make right. a decision is right here on the can. And I like that because, you know, the big thing is beer and food pairings. And when you get the two together, you go through palate euphoria. Mm -hmm. So that is wonderful that they, you know, they brew the beer and they say, listen, we know what we got. And this is going to go well with this kind of food. And, and this aroma is dead on. Oh, it's excellent. That aroma is amazing. And of course, these are. That's right. Um, oh, wait, these are not. I screwed up. I had the others and he, he... He had it and I went, no, no, those are the wrong ones. I thought we had IPA so, guys had little ridges at the bottom. Right, so now we're using stout glasses for IPA. Oh my God. Oh well, deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, we only have two cans. We're getting we're 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 two cans. Yeah, we're we're I'm not going to pour it out, so. Oh yeah, see. Oh, so refreshing. You're getting, you're getting that nice uh, citrusy uh, up front. Mm -hmm. But the malt kicks in. And I think the resin, the piney resin, mm. I think that's really a compliment to the hops that are using here. This mm. is great. Oh, this is a wonderful flavor. And like I said, it's 
really well balanced. And do we know that I've used this as an excellent, this is right in my category, whatever it is. Uh, it's not real high. Oh, you're also supposed to serve it at 38 degrees. I like that too. They've just taken so much information and put on this can. <laughs> Except for the IBUs. A 6.4. No, that's alcohol no, by that's, volume. That's ABV. 38, I bet, is what it is. No, no. it says 38 degrees. Oh, it's in the, it's got, oh, and look, it's, it's got, they, it's got they, the, they have it in the right glass, too. <laughs> right here, it shows you the, and the little glass, the, right with, glass. The, with the little swirly bottom on it. Yeah, they sh it should have the swirls on it as opposed to flat. Which one of us thought but got corrected. Yeah, apparently one but of us. But one of us didn't think it enough to argue it. He just was going to drink the beer. <laughs> Mm. So even in the wrong glass, it still tastes freaking awesome. <laughs> it is great beer. Great oh yeah, beer. I love because you get some of the IPAs that are really hop forward and mm -hmm. no malt backbone, and this one's got the balance of both. And we've had several. We've been down to the uh, brewery and tap room, mm. and it's they're great people. They got a great local community support down there. They have one of my favorite flights when you just put their beer That's on the right. flight. Was, right, they just going from one to the next was such a great segue into each one. And these guys are all in. They've just come out of the military and mm -hmm. dedicated their whole future life to what they're going on doing at Southern Pines. Mm -hmm. They've been well received and they should be. So when you're down in Southern Pines, for sure stop by the uh, brewery and tap room. And now, as you start seeing their canned products out and about in the local, they're not widely distributed yet, but they're but gonna get, gonna get if there. You get the, if you see them, grab them. And until next time, this is David Glenn, NC Beer Guys, reminding you to drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.